What is happening, collectors? I am somewhere really unique today. Now I'm gonna show you. Now you look over here. I am at the, the Hobbiton movie set. So this is the Lord of the Rings movie set, and in just a short while, I'm gonna get an opportunity to go and see some really cool Hobbit holes and Bag End and all these really cool things for those that are fans of Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. Uh, I'm really excited. This is kind of a neat experience. And one thing I'm going to do today, I don't know if anyone has ever opened Pokemon cards while in the Shire. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. I think this is a great opportunity for us to open up a little bit of Crown Zenith. So we're going to do that. Um, and hopefully we can pull something cool. So as we're walking right here, this is where Frodo and Gandalf meet for the first time in the movie, uh, which is uh, really cool to be in the place where a lot of things happened. And uh, it's, it's really special for somebody like me that grew up watching these movies, reading the books. Um, it was just amazing. And having an opportunity to see some of these hobbits ho hobbit holes, there's 44 in total. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable that they made so much for the movie set. But uh, it's, it's really, really beautiful. And the landscape is incredible. The gardens are actually real, most of most of them. And even, you know, seeing that big tree there and that field, uh, that's where Bilbo's 111th birthday took place. So really cool to see things like this. And actually, while I was here, uh, I was there for a meal. We had a Hobbit-style meal, um, which was really, really cool to eat some food. And um, this bridge here is actually leading to the Green Dragon. Um, and that's a famous bridge as well from the movie. But while I was waiting for the food to be ready and the drinks to be ready, I uh, found a picnic table and, you know, cracked some Crown Zenith, because why not? Um, this may be the first person on YouTube to open up Pokemon cards in the Shire, so I thought that would be an interesting opportunity. So, starting here, first pack, we got a Ditto Reverse Rare and a Zamazenta V-Star. I do need it. I do need it for, for my collection, which is great. So, um, I thought it was a, a special time and for me to be all the way on the other side of the world, uh, it's a long way to go, but you know, this is really a bucket list place for me to visit and uh, obviously I love opening up Pokemon cards So it was uh, it was great except for that whale lord not not so much a fan of that whale lord And when we're getting into the next pack, I, I'm really looking for the glaring gallery This is gonna be a tough set to complete. I don't know uh, Honestly, if I'm gonna beat it completed I, I, I I'm gonna it's probably gonna take some trading and some buying because opening it up just from packs but Zashin V, do need that one. I do need that, need that for my collection. Um, and I should mention, if you have not been, seen me before, hi, my name's Mark, I'm the Millennial Collector. I do open up Pokemon cards on YouTube. Uh, this is a bit of a different and special video, so if you do like this kind of content, please leave a like down below, I would appreciate that. Leave a comment, let me know your favorite part of the Lord of the Rings, and hit a subscribe if you're new to this channel. Here's a, a just a wonderful smorgasbord of food. It was very delicious, and on the way out afterwards, they gave us our own lanterns, and we had an opportunity to walk through the Shire at night. Really, really special. So happy that I had an opportunity to come here. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you have yourself an amazing day.